Welcome or welcome back at uh, C square. In this video clip, we will construct a congruent angle of a given angle. And for that reason, I'm going to use this uh, uh, website called geogebra.org. And I'm going to go here and choose this uh, app, which is called Geometry. And in this app, we have two sections the left side of the app, where you see basic tools so far, and the right side, where we're going to do the construction the drawing and first thing i'm going to do i'm going to click on this choice which says more and i'm going to go down and you see here where the lines are we have what is called a ray i'm going to draw the given angle so the given angle is angle a or bac if you want to use three letters i'm going to construct an angle that is congruent with this angle bac for that reason i'm going to start with a ray ray d e and then i'm going to construct angle d uh, that is congruent to angle a uh, so for that reason i'm going to go down here where circles are and i'm going to use the second icon circle center and radius this one which says select center point then enter radius i'm going to select the center point the vertex of angle a I'm going to put a radius of 4, but you can do any other value that uh, fits in your screen. And if you notice now, we have two intersection points. So I'm going to move up here. I'm going to take the uh, basic tool called point, and I'm going to plot these two points. Then I'm going to click on move because I want to move this point F down here. And I want also to make this circle dashed because I think it looks better. Okay, and now I'm, I'm going to do uh, pretty much the same thing down here. I'm going to uh, click on the circle, center, and radius. I'm going to choose the vertex D now, and I'm going to use the same radius of 4. So use the same radius. And if you notice, we have an intersection point here. Point H is called. Again, I'm going to move this point down here, and I'm going to make this circle dashed. Okay, this point H here is the corresponding point for point F on uh, angle A or BAC. So now how do I get the corresponding point for point G? Because that's the thing I want uh, to get the angle D that is congruent to angle A. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pick now the compass. Okay, and you notice the compass says select segment or two point for radius then the center point. So I'm going to select these two points. This is the radius of the circle. And you see we have a circle and I'm able to move. I'm going to go here and I'm going to center to point H. So basically now I get another point of intersection now between these two uh, shapes, the two circles. I'm going to put it here. Let me make that circle dash also. And then the next thing, I'm going to draw the ray DI. So go down here on lines, grab the ray, draw the ray. Uh, and now is the final thing. I want to check if really these two angles are congruent. For that reason, I'm going to uh, go uh, here on the left side. And you see here the choice measure. The first one is angle. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to measure angle B, A, C. And also I'm going to measure the angles I, D, E. This order is very important in GeoGebra. Other than that, you are going to get a, a different angles. Um, let me go and move these numbers so we can see them. 22.5, 22.5. Both of them are the same. Yes, angle D is congruent. Of angle A and we construct it. The cool thing now about this is uh, I can play with this angle. Let me make it smaller and you see the angle are congruent, still congruent, right? Uh, that is about constructing uh, congruent angles using GeoGebra or that or this construction can be also done with a uh, compass and a straight edge. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.